France has been making wine for many, many years. We are kind of a leader and a kind of a benchmark. If you make Bordeaux blends, Bordeaux is the benchmark. If you make Pinot, Burgundy is the benchmark. If you make sparkling wine, Champagne is the benchmark. Every now and then you taste a, a great Burgundy with some age in it and it just blows your mind and you know that nothing like it's yet been made in New Zealand and you wonder whether it ever will. Anything from the New World has to match up to the original classics, otherwise uh, there's no point. You know, it was very apparent early on when the first wines were produced out of Marlborough how good they were. I mean, that put New Zealand on the map. So I made a list of the most influential people in the wine trade in London. We got everyone seated. The wines were served completely blind. The result was fantastic because Kumi really walked it. <laughs> the old world reaction to the new world and New Zealand wine is, is twofold. It's one of surprise and one of fear. The big thing that we understood was you're looking for a treasure map. Somewhere out here, there will be the magic place, the Grand Cru site that is going to be magic. It's easy to make a great wine, just the 200 first years are difficult. Can New Zealand be a sort of player on the world stage? Yeah. That's a controversial question.